is Jenna, or you can call me Jay, and wherever you guys are, I hope you're having a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and leave this video a like and a subscribe for more Pokemon TCG content, all right? In today's video, we have another four dramatic experience that I've had, and this is the third one. And honestly, guys, this is like a big one. This happened to me when I was like grade six, grade seven. I had all these rare Pokemon cards and I just lost them all. So to start off, basically, I had Fossil set, a little bit of Jungle set. I had um, the Team Rocket Dark type cards. I had the Gym Trainer cards, like the Gym Leader cards. I had Brock's Rhydon. I had like um, Erica's Venusaur and all that stuff. And I would always take it to school because I thought like it was cool. You can show it off to your buddy, show it off to your friends, and you just take it to, with you everywhere. Obviously in not good condition because like it's in your pocket getting greased up, getting bent, the edges are getting damaged, but I was a kid, you know? Obviously I wasn't cognizant about that. Maybe my parents weren't always cognizant about that either. They thought it was just cards, but you know, they're probably worth a lot now. But anyways, it doesn't matter because I lost it all. So how I lost it was pretty much the obvious way of losing it. You have your cards and someone wants to see them and they take your cards and go somewhere else at the back of the classroom or somewhere else in the hallway and then you're just standing there waiting. So that's pretty much what happened. So I had a lot of cards. Unfortunately, I had this buddy that I would hang out with like all the time and yes, he wasn't that good kind of guy back then. He would actually steal my Pokemon cards, but he would not be, how do I put it? a team player because he would get cards and then technically would be mine but you know it's my fault if you saw my previous video it was on me i shouldn't have purchased it for him i know that now but it is what it is but that same buddy of mine he always wanted to see my pokemon cards and i found that a little suspicious and one day he was looking at them and he was sitting at the back of the classroom and another one of our buddies from a different class was there and they wanted to see my cards too. And they were sitting in the back, we were just, you know, doing our own thing. I was doing my work in, in my classroom and they were at the back talking and looking at my cards. And I was like thinking, okay, I want my cards back. You know, I feel a little suspicious now. And then all of a sudden like it's recess and I wanted to go check up on my cards and you know, check up on my buddy and what's going on. And then when I went to him, he said like, oh, I didn't have it. Our other buddy had it from the other class. And I'm like, what? What's going on? And then I went to recess and I went to that other guy and he said like, oh, I didn't have it. It's in the classroom. You see where it's going? You know, it's basically a cat and mouse where I'm going back and forth and pretty much I have to listen to one guy say he doesn't have it because the other guy took it and the other guy saying that he doesn't have it, he left it. So I lost my cards and I can't blame anyone because I didn't see anyone take it. Well, I mean, they did take it, but whoever was in the back of the class, they didn't see what they were doing. They were just minding their own business. So I'm playing this game where like I'm trying to find my cards and both parties are saying they don't know where it is. So one of them took it and I have a sneaking suspicion it was my buddy because after that day, he has never ever showed his Pokemon cards to me ever again and I know it was him because he would still bring his Pokemon cards and every time he would talk some, talk to me about a specific type or if I talked to him about a specific type of Pokemon card, he would find a way to take it out of his pocket without showing me and I know my cards were in there. I just couldn't do anything about it. I can't start a fight with someone especially when i was a kid trying to get something back and then it starts escalating i guess he was the type of person that might escalate it as well and we would have lost a friendship but at the end of the day it is what it is i mean after that like he did the smart play and not showing me anything because i learned my lesson because i don't want to show anything ever again of my purchases to him because after that I did purchase Pokemon cards, but I would never talk to him about it because that was kind of like the end of that, that, you know, that friendship in that specific sense. I still hung out with them. In fact, like it was to a point where we stopped hanging out because he was in a situation where he couldn't come to school. But you know, like the universe works in mysterious ways. God works in mysterious ways. And eventually I ended up getting some cool cards, but I kept it in my possession at home. That was a big thing for me because I had a lot of rare cards and I couldn't get them again. I probably got like, I think Koga's Monk again, like Muck, sorry. But um, there was a lot of cool cards I lost out on. And you know what? I was a kid. I learned my lesson and 
Now I'm just being more cognizant. Any type of cards I have, I never take it out. My wife makes sure I never take it out and I just leave it at home because it's the most safest you can do. If people want to come by and check it out, they can check it out. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a like if you did. Comment down below if you guys have that buddy that ever stole cards from you, but you still have to have a friendship with them because they're still a cool guy. You know what I mean? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And as always, wherever you are, I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See ya.